I've been making use of Premiere Pro for the past three years until October last year when I found out about CapCut, the PC version and I switched from Premiere Pro to CapCut PC and I noticed I've been spending more time editing videos on CapCut than Premiere Pro. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing some of the few reasons why I think CapCut PC is better than Premiere Pro. My name is Moses Amechi. I'm a video editor, photographer and videographer based in Abuja, Nigeria. Let's jump right into the video. Number one reason why CapCut is better than Premiere Pro is the price. As you all know, Premiere Pro goes for a monthly subscription for $21 if you are a student. But CapCut is free both on the mobile version and on the desktop version. You don't really have to pay. And this makes it really easy for people who want to get into video editing because not everybody can afford $20 or $21 to pay for a video editing software most especially if they are just coming into video editing and they are not making any money from it so yeah CapCut is free but Premiere Pro is paid number two is ease of use I'm not gonna lie when I started editing videos I really find it very very difficult to navigate through Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro is more of an advanced video editing software so if you're a beginner you might find it very very difficult to use CapCut is just so easy to use everything is laid down there for you you don't have all these crazy panels that you have there on Premiere Pro it makes it very very easy for beginners to get into video editing because my girlfriend who knew nothing about video editing learned how to edit video on CapCut PC in less than a week right that's how easy the software is so that ease of use is something that makes it superior to Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro is more on the professional side and more on the difficult side so if you are starting out you might find Premiere Pro difficult you know but CapCut is really easy to use number three reason why CapCut is better than Premiere Pro is CapCut is best for social media videos right now we are like in a video centric world with the rise of TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels. We need editing softwares that makes it easier for us to make videos for social media. Sometimes you might not want to edit on your phone. Sometimes you might want to edit on your laptop. And I don't think Premiere Pro is really, really good for that. Although Premiere Pro is coming up with some new features that makes editing videos for social media better, but I feel you can easily do this on CapCut because CapCut just makes it easy. Let's say you want to do like a short form video of a long form interview, you'll find that easy to do on CapCut than Premiere Pro. Let's say you want to add subtitles, you want to add effects. It's really, really easy for you to do that on CapCut than even on Premiere Pro. So, and, and for me, which is one of the reasons why I've been leaning more towards CapCut than Premiere Pro because I have clients that I make youtube shots for i have clients that I make tiktok videos for i have clients that I make instagram reels for so i'll just go with the software that makes it easy for me so yeah this is one of the major reasons why CapCut is better than Premiere Pro. The fourth reason is CapCut is easy on your hardware. Let's say for example, whenever I'm exporting a video or whenever I'm rendering something, you need to come and see how the sound sounds so high, you know, when I'm making use of Premiere Pro because it's taking so much from my CPU, it's taking so much from my hardware. If you are using like a small computer, Premiere Pro might not run smoothly on your computer system if you are making use of a small computer, which is something that you should keep in mind, which is something that is not really nice for people who want to come into video editing but even if you are using like an old computer you still find it very very easy for CapCut to run smoothly on your computer system the, the app itself it's less than 500 MB so even if you are making use of an old or trashy computer you will still find it very very easy to make use of CapCut on your laptop which is a good thing the fifth reason why I think CapCut is better than Premiere Pro is in-app features. Now let me give you an instance. Let's say you want to make use of some video effects or transitions or some titles or pack or stuff like that. If you want to do that on Premiere Pro, you most likely have to get it externally or get one of all these Premiere Pro plugins. On CapCut, you have everything there for you by default. You have transitions, you have video effects, you have text, you have caption templates you have everything there for you and it makes video creation process really easy and really fast you also have to save costs because on Premiere Pro some of those packs those titles animation and all those stuff you have to pay for it on CapCut you have this in-app features and all this elements that make video editing really really easy and to me that's like a great win i necessarily don't have to go and buy like a pack from somebody or sign up to invert or something when i just have everything 
there for me so which is something that i really really love i still make use of premiere pro anyway there are some uh, really advanced features that are on premiere pro that i'm yet to see on capcut capcut are looking to you know improve and improve but i hope capcut will roll out some of those features anyway if you are watching this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think do you think capcut is better than premiere pro or do you think premiere pro is better than capcut and what do you think about some of the points that i talked about in this video let me know in the comment section below we've come to the end of this video and if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video